Hello my dear students and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video lesson, I'll be explaining oxidation number on the redox reaction. Now, talking about oxidation number, oxidation number is, a, is simply an electrical charge found in an element. So, talking about this, it makes us understand that oxidation number can be determined by some arbitrary rules. But before we talk about that, let's just take note of some points. So, when we start solving, it won't be difficult. Now, take note that the oxidation number of three elements the oxidation number of free element. What is a free element? A free element is simply an element that is not combined with another element. So it is simply an uncombined element. So the oxidation number of free element is zero. The oxidation number of free element is zero. Now another point. The oxidation number of hydrogen is positive 1 with the exception of binary hydrides. With the exception of binary hydrides. Okay? Like lithium hydride. Now, the ex with the exception of binary hydride. So, what would be the oxidation state of binary hydrides? That's hydrogen in binary hydrides. Hydrogen in binary hydride is simply negative one. But oxidation number of hydrogen generally is positive one, but in binary hydrides is negative one. So, binary hydride is the exception. So, you can see this is lithium hydride. Hydrides simply talk about for combination of hydrogen with another element. Now, this element here is a metal. So, what type of hydride will you call it? It is simply called an ionic hydride. An ionic hydride. So, let's be not talking about that. So, let's move further. So, the oxidation number of oxygen in most states is talk, talks about negative 2. The oxidation of oxygen in most states is negative 2. But with the exception of peroxide, with the exception of peroxide, which is negative 1, like the likes of H2O2, which is called hydrogen peroxide, K2O2, potassium peroxide, and CaO2, calcium peroxide. Now, the oxidation number of the oxidation number of a radical the oxidation number of a radical talks about the the charge on the radical okay this is what i mean now what is a radical a radical they are a group of atoms which behaves as a single charge unit for example no3 minus so you know it minus one. So what will be the oxidation number of this nitrate radical? It is minus one. So the oxidation number of a radical simply is the charge on the radical. So basically, with this concept, we can solve questions on the oxidation number. Now let's take this example. Now this question says calculate the oxidation number of sulfur in the following substance in the following substance for example we are giving SO2 S okay let's say H2SO4 see H2 S2O7 and D, the sulfate radical. The sulfate radical. 
Now, this is a question, capital the oxidation number of sulfur in the following substance. Now, let's solve the first question, SO2. Now, in determining the oxidation number of a particular element, we take that element to be X. So, look at sulfur here, you say X plus, you can see, I said earlier on that the oxidation number of oxygen in most states is negative 2 but with the exception of peroxides which is negative 1 so the oxidation number of oxygen here is negative 2 plus negative 2 times 2 because we have 2 atoms of oxygen forming a molecule so O2 minus 2 times 2 and you equate them to the 0 so we see x minus 4 which is minus 2 times 2 4 is equal to 0. So x becomes positive 4. So this is the oxidation number of sulfur in SO2. Now let's go ahead and solve the oxidation number of sulfur in H2SO4. H2SO4 sulfur. Now we said earlier on that the oxidation number of hydrogen is positive 1. So we see plus 1, we have 2 atoms of hydrogen, so plus 1 times 2, plus x, because this is what we are looking for, plus the oxidation of oxygen in most states is negative 2, we have 4 atoms, so negative 2 times 4 equals 0, so we have 2 plus x minus 8, minus 2 times 4 minus 8 equals 0, x becomes 8 minus 2, so we get 6. So the oxidation number of sulfur in H2SO4 is 6. So let's go ahead and solve the oxidation number of sulfur in H2S2O7. H2S2O7. Now this compound is called oleum. This compound is called oleum. We get it during the contact process, that is formation of this acid, H2SO4 concentrated H2SO4. Now, what will be the oxidation number of sulfur here? So, we know that oxidation number of hydrogen is positive 1 times 2 plus. Now, you can see we have two molecules of sulfur, two atoms of sulfur here. So, we simply say, we are looking for sulfur. So, we simply say 2 into X because we are looking for sulfur, but we have two atoms of sulfur. So, we say 2 into X, 2 times X plus Oxygen negative 2 times 7 equate all to 0. So let's start with the mathematics. So we get 2 plus 2x minus 14 is equal to 0. So we say 2x is equal to moving here we get 14 minus 2. So 2x is equal to 12. So making x of the formula, we get 12 over 2. So we get 6. So the oxidation number of sulfur here is 6. Okay, now basically let's move over to the last question. Now the question says sulfate radical. Sulfate radical. The question asks ourselves, what is the sulfate radical? The sulfate radical is simply SO4. So minus, I recall we said that the charge or the oxidation number of a, a radical is simply the total number of the charge now for the question i asked what is the oxidation number of a particular element in the radical which is sulfur so we say x plus oxygen is negative 2 we have four atoms so negative 2 times 4 is equal to the sum total of the charge which is negative 2 not 0 this time because this it has a net charge which is negative 2 equated to negative so the negative 2 which is the net charge so we take here s minus 8 is equal to negative 2 so x becomes 8 minus 2 so x becomes 6 so this is the oxidation number of sulfur in the sulfate radical so i believe now we now understand the concept about solving oxidation numbers of elements thanks for watching